My name is Ruth Godfrey and I'm the analytical chemistry lead for the MSc in nanomedicine. I'd like to take a few moments of your time to explain how analytical chemistry is key to the development of nanomedicines and work in other related sciences. But first, what is analytical chemistry? It is essentially the measurement of molecules and elements, whether these be biomolecules such as proteins or synthetic chemicals such as the fuels that we use in our vehicles. It is therefore a highly translational subject with technology that underpins many industries, including life science and therapeutics, through to environmental monitoring and chemical manufacture. As such, analytical skills are much needed, not just in therapeutics, but across the breadth of scientific disciplines. So analytical chemistry is essentially used whenever you need to measure what is present, but also how much. And therefore, for the development of nanomedicines, this includes diagnostics, therapeutic development and imaging. But as I've said, the use of analytical methods goes beyond these areas and it is highly translational. For example, nanomaterials are next generation pollutants. And so the analytical methods used to monitor nanotherapeutics in us can be adopted to environmental monitoring of these substances including understanding their environmental fate, accumulation and toxicity within other organisms which may become the food that we eat. Therefore, analytical skills are truly translational across science and industry, meaning that graduates with these skills are highly sought after with high employability. I hope that this brief snippet provides you with an idea of how analytical chemistry fits within the nano portfolio. And along with the rest of the nano team here at Swansea, I very much look forward to welcoming you at the start of your studies.